Welcome to this Nova Systems web snippet on the Simplify tool. In SolidWorks, I've got a relatively simple ropi here, and I want to simplify it. Maybe I'm going to stick it into a assembly and I want to keep it lightweight, or maybe I'm going to be doing some simulation on it and I want to take out some of the smaller fillets. So under Tools, Find and Modify, we can see Simplify. Over on the right-hand side, we can now choose uh, what features we are going to simplify. So we've got an option of fillets, chamfers, holes, and extrudes. Uh, and I'm going to choose all for the for simplicity here. If you also use uh, volume-based simplification, you also get the option of revolves here as well, which we'll see in a minute. We then get to set a simplification factor. It defaults to 0.1, and, and I'm going to leave that as it is for the moment. We then have to choose whether we're going to do a feature parameter simplification or volume-based simplification. The easiest way to think of it is feature-based simplification looks at the primary value of the feature and uses that to work out whether the, it's going to be included or not. So for example the radius in a fillet or the diameter of a hole. Volume-based simplification looks at the amount of material that the feature uh, involves. So with the fillet the amount of material that it removes, for an extrude the amount of material it adds or, or, or cuts away. Once we've chosen which one we're going to use, and we're going to start with feature parameter, we're then going to choose find now. And it goes through the part and finds all of the uh, items that meet the calculation based on the type of simplification you're using. So I've got two fillets. I've got the very small fillet on the tip there, and then I've got the interior fillet, which is what's giving me my rounded curve here, if we have a quick look at the shadow. When I've got my features, I can then choose to suppress the selected feature or suppress all of them. If I do choose to suppress them, I can also choose whether I'm going to create a derived configuration and the name of it so that I can flick backwards and forwards. So particularly useful if you're doing it in assembly or simulation, you can choose which configuration you're in, whether you want to see it full detail or see it simplified. Before I do that, we're going to have a look at getting some other things selected. So if I move to volume based, we select volume based, you see revolve pops in there at the top and choose fine now. I don't actually get anything different, so for this simplification factor I get the same values for both. If I jump back in there and I'm going to double my simplification factor, and I choose fine now, we now get an additional fillet, which is the fillet doing all of the uh, large radiuses, gets added into the list. If I choose volume based with this simplification factor though, I get an extra additional item appearing on my list, which is a cut extrude through the centre. I'm now going to choose to suppress everything that is on the list and I'm going to create a derived configuration called Simplify 1 and choose Suppress. It then gives me a very simple block which in an assembly would ver be very lightweight although potentially I might have gone overboard because I may well need the hole in order to make my eye in the assembly. So if I decide I have gone overboard we can untick the all. I've got Cut Extrude 2 selected and I choose Unsuppress. I'm still within my derived configuration, so I'm not changing more than I need to. But it's quite easy for me to go backwards and forwards and work out what it is I want to suppress. Now, the Simplify tool also works at assembly level. So if I jump into an assembly I've got here, and we again will start up the Simplify tool. So find and modify Simplify. We're going to keep the same simplification factor. I'm going to do volume based. But this time I'm going to shorten this and I'm just going to look for fillets and chamfers. And then we choose Find Now. And it goes through each component and each feature within each component and looks for all of the small features that I might want to get rid of if I'm going to put this into yet another assembly further up the tree. Or if I'm going to do some sim uh, simulation on it, I want to get rid of all of those small features. In this case, it's finding me 87 individual features. We can click on the features and see exactly where they are and whether they are something we want to suppress and again we can come through say we want to suppress them all and we want to create that derived configuration again thank you very much for watching